Hi, I'm Dr. David Tan Bun Han. I'm an oncologist at the Asian American Radiation and Oncology. Lung cancer is the second and third most common cancer in male and females respectively. It is also the leading cause of cancer death worldwide. Lung cancer is a deadly cancer because the tumour can often grow to an advanced stage or to a large size without causing any symptoms. In addition, the tumour cells also have a tendency to spread to the surrounding lymph nodes or through the bloodstream to different organs that are far away from the original tumour. Common symptoms of lung cancer include long-standing cough, persistent shortness of breath, blood in the sputum, hoarseness of voice, or an unexplained weight loss or loss of appetite. It is very important for patients to recognize and to treat lung cancers as soon as possible. Therefore, anyone experiencing such symptoms must seek medical advice as soon as possible. Lung cancers can develop in both smokers and non-smokers. In fact, we have detected a recent trend of an increased incidence of lung cancer diagnosis in non-smokers. Unfortunately, we have also found that such cancers have a tendency to be advanced at diagnosis or to have spread to the rest of the body in such cases. The main risk factor for lung cancer is smoking. This also includes secondhand and thirdhand smoking. Secondhand smoking refers to inhaling smoke from someone who is beside you or close to you and who is smoking. Thirdhand smoking refers to inhalation of smoke from clothing or from a room previously occupied by smokers. Lung cancer treatment in the 21st century is multidisciplinary, personalised and precise. Rapid scientific and technological advances have resulted in the addition of modern, highly targeted treatment options to the traditional options of surgery, conventional radiotherapy or chemotherapy. One example is in the introduction of a highly advanced form of radiotherapy called Stereotactic Ablative Body Radiotherapy or in short, SABER. SABER has emerged in the 21st century and quickly established itself as a standard of care in early lung cancers. With SABER, extremely high doses of radiotherapy can be delivered in a highly focused and precise beam of radiotherapy to destroy deep-seated tumours in an entirely non-invasive and outpatient setting. This is as opposed to older radiotherapy techniques where large portions of normal lung would be treated together with the tumour and to lower doses resulting in higher rates of side effects and lower cure rates. Because of the clear benefits of SABER, it is now offered as an alternative option to surgery in early lung cancers and especially in elderly patients or those who are at high risk of a surgery. Another example of 21st century lung cancer treatment is targeted therapy. Targeted therapy refers to the use of oral medication that will then enter the patient's system and selectively hunt down and kill cancer cells. Prior to the use of oral therapy, a blood sample or a tumour biopsy will be obtained from the patient and a thorough molecular analysis performed on the specimen in order to identify specific markers on the patient's cancer cells that can be then targeted with oral therapy. Studies have shown that the use of such targeted therapies have significantly improved patient survival and added to the convenience and improved quality of life of such patients. In conclusion, lung cancer remains a common and deadly condition in the 21st century. Early recognition of symptoms and prompt diagnosis is essential 
to improve survival and outcomes. Once a diagnosis is made, a consultation with an oncologist is essential in order to understand the numerous treatment options available in this rapidly advancing field. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us or speak with your lung oncologist.